Hello and welcome to the Amtec WorkSmart web demonstration. WorkSmart may be launched by clicking the, the icon usually located on the desktop. You will then be presented with the login screen. A user may be selected and the login button clicked which will then present the home screen. Jobs within WorkSmart are accessed via the jobs list. This will list any existing jobs. Clicking the new button in the toolbar will launch the add a new job routine. Once a job is created, it may be opened to display the takeoff environment. Prior to takeoff, material unit costs may be assigned a preferential discount. Items may have up to three preferential or estimating discounts. These are selected by clicking the preferential discount one, two, and or three. When a preferential discount is selected, the estimate takeoff is recalculated. Discounts may also be obtained from a selected supplier. The estimate may also be defined to use break quantities. Later on, this panel will be used to mark up the estimate, but for the time being, it may be unpinned to be hidden so we can see more of the takeoff sheet. The takeoff sheet is where all items are assigned to the estimate. Details of each item are displayed within easy to read columns. Material, labour, unit values are displayed plus the totals per item per column. WorkSmart contains a number of takeoff methods, one of which is coded search. Coded search may be selected from within the toolbar or by pricing function key F2. Coded search has a number of takeoff methods, one of which is catalog number. Here, a partial or a full catalog number may be entered. For example, K2747WHI. Pressing enter will display the details for the catalog number. Importantly, the discount currently being applied is displayed along with the net price of the item as it will be within your estimate. The item may be quantified and added to your estimate. Coded search may also be used for things like manufacturer range. This is where you are able to choose a particular manufacturer. For example, if a BSS copper tube item is required, we could just type in BSS from our keyboard. It will locate the first BSS manufacturer. We can therefore click on copper tube, which displays the manager range, and then if we widen the window, all of the minor ranges. When we click search, we are presented with all the relevant items. Items may be quantified as required and added to our takeoff sheet. Coded search may also be used to locate items by commodity, for example. Boilers. Which type of boiler? WorkSmart will display the relevant manufacturers. Double clicking the manufacturer will display boilers. From a large list of search results, they may be filtered by clicking into the filter field and typing in, for example, a dimension. 605, there we go, 605 kilowatts. It is then possible to quantify and take the item off into your estimate. Special items may be taken off into the estimate using the specials routine or by pressing function key F4. The description of the special may be entered along with the trade price, uplift percentage, and discount as required. These may be entered at a later date. A special may also be assigned hours and, if required, its own labour rate. Where the special is a material, it may be assigned a type of measure. A special may also be assigned its own fat band and some special notes as required. The special is taken off by clicking the add button. As the special has been assigned notes, the notes are displayed by moving your mouse pointer over the note indicator, the paperclip. WorkSmart also has the ability to take off kits 
Kits may be taken off by clicking the Kits button within the toolbar or pressing function key F5. This will display the Kits takeoff. The library of Kits is displayed. Locate and select the required Kit. Click the Add Kit button and the items within the Kit are taken off into the estimate. Items within your estimate may also be taken off using Lockins Live. Lockins Live is our online product database and as well as giving you access to over a million products it also gives you the latest trade prices for each item. Clicking on the Lockins Live button within the toolbar will launch your internet browser and take you directly to LockinsLive.com. Items may be selected by category or by manufacturer. Here we're going to choose wiring accessories, seating accessories and button holders. The manufacturers, the relevant items are then displayed. Here we're going to choose Hager Limited. This will then list us the items. Lockings Live can contain what we call enhanced data for certain items. Clicking the I button where displayed will display this enhanced data. This may include pictures or PDF files, etc. Here we have a picture and relevant PDF files. These files may be downloaded as required. In addition to the item details, we see the manufacturer details. To quantify our item, we enter the quantity into the quantity box and we click the plus button to add it into our basket. Our basket is appended. These will be the items that we take off into our estimate when we export the list. We can quantify as many items as required before exporting our list. This will then list us all quantified items prior to takeoff. We can delete the item or re-enter the quantity as required. Taking the item off is a simple case of downloading the list into our estimate. This item has been taken off from Lockings Live. Additional hours may be entered into the estimate by clicking onto the labour button within the toolbar or pressing function key F6. Clicking this button displays the select a grade screen picking up the grades from the grade table selected when raising the job. Select the appropriate grade and the labour entry is added into your estimate. Prelims may be taken off into the estimate by clicking on the Prelims button within the toolbar or pressing function key F7. This displays the Select a Prelim window. Prelims may be split down into different categories, each category containing relevant prelims. Prelims may also be defined a default cost. Locate and select the required prelim, clicking the select button. The prelim is then taken off into your estimate. The price of the prelim may be changed as required by overtyping it within the estimate. Miscellaneous items may be taken off into the estimate by clicking on the miscellaneous mode button within the toolbar or by pressing function key F9. A miscellaneous item is an item that has a quantity and where you want to type in your own description. A material price may be assigned, an uplift and a discount as required. The net price is recalculated as is the extension which is the net price multiplied by the quantity. Labour may also be assigned. Item notes may be assigned post takeoff. Clicking on an item, pressing the notes button within the toolbar or pressing function key F8 displays the notes window. Notes are then entered, OK clicked and the note indicator is displayed next to the item. Moving the mouse pointer over the note indicator will display the content of the notes. Double clicking will display the notes panel, enabling the notes to be appended or changed as required. Clicking the OK button will update the notes. The full details of an item may be displayed by selecting the required item and the product details button from within the toolbar. This will display the full details relevant to the selected item. Clicking Cancel will close the product details window. An item may be deleted from within the estimate by locating and selecting the required item. Clicking the Delete button within the toolbar, this will delete the item from the estimate. The item is still displayed with a line through to indicate that it has been deleted. All relevant details pertaining to that item will be omitted from any totals and the estimate per se. Reinstating the item is a case of selecting a deleted item, clicking the delete button again which reinstates the item and all its relevant values back into the estimate. Any item that is deleted will remain on screen 
with the strike through until the estimate is saved using the save button or holding down the control key on your keyboard and pressing the S key. This will refresh the estimate and the item will then be removed. Items that have been removed from the estimate in this way cannot be reinstated. Once all the required items have been taken off into the estimate and the values managed as required, the markups routine may be used to mark up your job. Within the markups routine there is a markup column. This is where you are able to type in the markup percentages as you see fit. All the time the tender value is being recalculated. WorkSmart contains reports. These are accessed via the, the report buttons within the toolbar. Clicking on the report button displays the produce WorkSmart report. A sample estimate report when previewed is previewed in Microsoft Word. As this is a Word file, you are able to change things like your company logo, address details and fonts and font size as required. Other reports are sample invoice. Again, these are previewed in Microsoft Word. And also a sample takeoff audit. Should it be required, any report can be edited. This takes you into Microsoft Word, where all the functions of Microsoft Word can be used to change various details pertaining to the report, such as, in this example, the font size or the font used. Saving that and closing Microsoft Word has now updated the default font for our sample takeoff. This may be done as and when required. Additional book reports may also be created, clicking the new button and giving your report a title of your choosing and then editing that report will enable you to use Microsoft Word and the Amtec WorkSmart add-ins which will enable you to plot things like client ID, client name. If you are used to doing mail merges in Microsoft Word, this is a very, very similar process. There are many, many different pieces of information regarding your job which may be included within your report. Reports may also be copied and deleted. Once completed, the job can then be saved and the takeoff environment visited. This will take us back to the home screen. We can, within WorkSmart, copy jobs. This is very useful as we could set up template estimates and copy them as required, retitling them, double clicking to open them and editing them as required. This could save us a great deal of time with setting up our job as we could have template estimates containing commonly used items for jobs that we estimate on a regular basis.